Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at TheServerSide.com, and I want to quickly show you how easy it is to create your first AWS Lambda function in Java. So if we're going to create a Java-based AWS Lambda, we need a Java project first. I'm going to create one called Serverless Example. After it's opened up, I'm going to go into that source folder, SRC, source C, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to create a new Java component, a new Java class called AWS Lambda Functions. I'm going to put it in the com.mcnz.aws.lambda package. Then I click finish and there's the structure of my class. Now you'll be amazed here to get a Lambda to work. All I have to do is provide a method that returns a string, takes a string as an argument and accepts a payload. That's some JSON that can come in. And I'm gonna do a little system.out.println here. We are in the Java AWS Lambda function is what I'm gonna type out. That goes into the logs. What gets returned to the calling program is what you return here. And I'm gonna take the payload that comes in, some JSON. I'm going to switch it to all lowercase letter, replace the E with a three, this is my cryptography, and replace the L with a one. So if someone says, hello world, I'm going to return that lowercase and encrypt it so badly they won't know what happened to them. So there we go. I'm going to save that. I'm going to export everything to a jar file. And when I say everything, I just mean that one Java file because there's really not much to it here. Put it into a little jar called playitforward.jar on the file system. There you go. You can see it right there. And I'm going to Move that up to AWS, going to go to the AWS console, AWS Lambda, create a function. What should we name it? Well, I'll call it play it forward. We want Java 17, of course, why wouldn't we? What else do I need to configure here? I think that's close to it. I'm just going to click create function. Now I do need to upload that jar file. We need that jar file there for the AWS Lambda to know what to do. We'll just give this a minute and the option to upload the jar file comes right there, upload from. I'm gonna upload a zip file, click the upload button. There's play it forward. I'm gonna open that up, gonna click save. And there we go. Looks like it's been uploaded. Now I got some details that I'm going to have to edit here about the runtime. I'm going to have to specify what the package name is, the class name, and the method. I don't know if you can remember, but I think we did com.mcnz.aws.lambda. And what was that class name? Let's copy and paste that AWS Lambda functions. And what was the method name? Copy and paste is good here. You don't want to spell this wrong. That just spells disaster. It's not handle request. It's alter payload. There we go. I'm going to click save. That orange button saves it. Test is the tab I want to go to. And I want to test. But I need to add in a payload. Where's the payload here? This is just going to be a text string. Hello, Lambda world. We got the L's in there, we got the E's in there. I'm gonna click that little test button and boom, all of a sudden I see green check marks everywhere. I see Hello Lambda World encrypted in a way that no one could tell what it is. And look at that. I even see the log files there. We are in the Java AWS Lambda function. And there you go, that all just comes from a simple Java program. So if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. We got lots of great tutorials on AWS, Google, GitHub, Java, Spring Boot, DevOps, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, why don't you follow me on Twitter? I'm at CameronMCNZ. And you're watching this on YouTube, right? Why don't you subscribe on the YouTube?